We've got two, two state reps here that are doing a great job. You've got uh, David Hood and... Uh, So I want to thank both of them because it's it's work to get things it's work to make sure the right things happen in Tallahassee and uh, but you you've elected individuals that know what the right thing to do is they're they're watching your money make sure we do the right thing for our families. I want to thank some other individuals that had been up there. Uh, Representative Fred Costello I got to work with for two years. Senator, Ever, Ever, uh, Senator Evelyn Lynn. Is here. Yeah. And Representative Scott Clayton is here, I think. Also. Yeah. Thank you very much for all of your hard work also. Also, Ambassador uh, Stanley Escudero is here. Well, you got me elected. If, uh, you know, we did very well here, and your hard work got me elected. Uh, I ran on a campaign of seven steps to 700,000 jobs. I believe in the American dream. We have all led the American dream. I believe that if we do the right things, if we keep our taxes low, if we make sure this is the number one place in, a, in the world to get a job, the number one place that a child can get a great education so they have a chance to live the American dream, the number one place where you can afford to live, then everybody does well. A family that's making forty thousand dollars a year, that's struggling to get by, that has no money in the bank, like my family growing up, they can do well because their child can build a business, run for office, become a teacher, do any of these things. So here's what we've done with the individuals you've elected in a little over two years. I ran on campaign and we did it. As Morris said, I I'll give you a story on the Department of Community Affairs. I was talking to a large land developer in the state, and I said, how are you doing? He says, well, we've done really well, but I can't buy any more land, even though there's a lot of vacant land around here, because DCA will come in and review everything I've done, even though they've already reviewed it, and I would never be able to afford to build any more houses. Why would we do that to ourselves? Let's think about our state and what was going on. When I became governor, we had no income tax. When I became governor, we're a right to work state. You didn't have to become a member of a union. You still don't. When I became governor, we had a low business tax. We still do. But guess what had happened in the four years before? This state lost 832,000 jobs. Unemployment went from 3.5 to 11.1%. Housing prices dropped 40%. We increased state debt $5.2 billion. What was going on? Early <laughs> so what did we do? We came in and we said, we're going to run the state like we like businesses. Because we want more jobs. Who does it? Businesses. So we cut, we've cut five taxes. We cut property taxes, we've cut business taxes, and now we've cut the sales tax on machinery and equipment. We said regulation is hurting our state. We've eliminated 2,300 regulations. Why does it take forever to get a permit, and why can't government tell us how to get a permit? So we streamlined the permitting process. 
We brought in people that said, you know what? We like businesses. They run our agencies now. They said, our job is to make this the state where you can get a job. So by doing that, guess what's happened? In 27 months, the private sector has generated over 325,000 jobs. We're now the second best state to do business. Only Texas is ahead of us now, and just barely. <laughs> By the way, I let Governor Perry know in Texas that his time of being number one is a little over, and just to get him ready, I took him fishing out out in Destin. I said, let's each invite a veteran. So we invite a veteran. I said, I'll bring the team hats. My team was called Beat Perry. His team was called I'm Worried. I got a trophy three feet tall with a big number two on it. Because there's some way he was B number two that day. I gave it to him on the Neil Cavuto show nationally. He, he loved it. I don't think it's in his office yet. I made, he immediately took it and stuck, had somebody from his, his team stick it in the car so he, no one else would see it. But we are very close to being the number one place in the country to do business. Our unemployment rate has dropped faster than any state but one, and for the first time in five years, we're below the national average. Yeah. Now, you know the president's uh, focused on jobs again, because he's, he's starting a new job tour again. He's going to Texas because they've done a good job. It would be nice if they actually did something. I know the congressman is, but what's the White House doing? More regulation, more taxes. What are we doing? What are they doing to get jobs here? Nothing. So we're fighting the national government to get more jobs. But on top of jobs coming back to our state, guess what else we've done? Conservatives' principles work. Education. So we said. We want to make sure we have the number one state for your child to get an education because we know that's the key to getting a job. So we've gone from K-12 to state colleges to universities. Here's what we've done. First year, we got rid of teacher tenure. We said we want our principals to keep the best teachers. We passed, we passed performance pay and, and measurement for our teachers. Teachers want measurement, they just want it to be fair. So we've done that, and guess what? We said, we're going to fund education. Now, my first year, I walked in with a $3.7 billion budget deficit. This year, we have a surplus because people are moving here and people have jobs. And where are we gonna put our money? Education. We know that's the key to the future of our state and the future of our families. Yeah. For two years in a row, we've increased funding for K-12 by over a billion dollars. This year, we're going to make sure our teachers get a pay raise. Yeah. Why should our teachers get a pay raise? We all believe in measurement. Let's think about the numbers. Everybody questions how we're doing in K-12 education. Here are the numbers. Our fourth graders are number two in the world in reading. In the world, only behind Singapore. According to Education Week, we are number six in the country in K-12 education. According to the National Council for Teacher Quality, we have, for two years running, Florida has the most effective teachers in the country. Yeah. And finally, if you look at AP tests, our high school graduating class are taking more AP um, um, great, are taking more AP courses than any place in the country. So we're concerned. Now, we have a lot of work left to do, but we're heading in the right direction. You have done a great job. You won this county, won for Mitt Romney. Yeah. You did a great job. 